My name is Melinda Lagoken, and I am from Forked Hope. The Watkopa means in our language, it means light on the horizon. Our focus is to uh, provide um, and educate our community on healthy eating, um, exercising, um, running supportive groups for anybody that is um, have, has been diagnosed with cancer and um, that are also in remission. Um, and we also include their families if they would like to participate in the um, sharing circles. Our GOPA group consists of 18 community members um, and it is from health center staff, um, a rep from chief and council, a rep from Yamoga Land Corporation, the co-op in the Northern Star managers, um, community concerned um, that wants to do something for um, to help support ca cancer patients here. Uh, we also have cancer survivors, we have elders, uh, we have youth, um, and this is open to anybody that um, wants to be a part of making a big difference here in our community in regards to cancer. We start up this program called the Grandmother Walk. And in this grandmother walk, we do two things. Um, we, um, we pick and we harvest berries and medicine. And so um, there's usually a group of us that goes out onto the land and we pick berries. And um, the berries, we um, save, we put some aside also too for our um, cancer clients that are in the program. And we also pick and we learn about the medicine uh, from our land uh, by elders. And so um, usually a couple of elders will come out with us and um, at that time they will share stories of um, where our traditional sites um, along the Mackenzie River and um, they will talk about the medicine and they will talk about what it's good for, um, how you pick it, how you um, make medicine with it, and um, how to preserve it. So it's, it's really good. I really enjoy the Grandmother Walk because you're not only just picking and you're learning, but you're getting so much exercise. You're constantly moving, you're getting up, getting down, and your whole body is working, but there's something out on the land that is so, it's so quiet, it's so peaceful. You hear the birds, you hear the squirrels, you hear the wind, you hear everything. Just, it's so alive out there and it's so powerful. When we come back from our medicine or our berry picks, you, you see a difference in them. You see how um, they're excited for what they have and what they're gonna be bringing home. And you just, it, you see a big difference. You see a big change in them. And they're just, when it comes time to coming home after four hours of picking, they're just like, ah, oh, I just want to stay out here a little bit longer, but I have to get home. I got to attend to my family. And so you, you see a big difference. truly understand who you are. I think that there's so much power in knowing where you, you, you are coming from and knowing the education of our community of how uh, Fort Goodop had to be, to be moved several times before we finally were located here and um, understanding our, our people the way we used to live before and understanding um, the drum, the our culture, living out on the land and knowing that our people back then survived and today we're still surviving and, and that definitely can, you can say there's there's a lot of power in that. I would like to see more of um, um, our own community members, the younger generation. 
um, doing the medicine making, going out on the land and picking it, understanding when they pick the medicine, um, there's a big spirituality attached to it. You just, you don't just go and pick. You have to understand and you have to have that faith in the medicine that the medicine is going to help you. Without that, you're just drinking just juice. Like there's a big part to when you're picking medicine and having that relationship with the spruce gum, having that relationship with juniper, having that relationship with the red willows. It's there's a respect in between you and that medicine. And I think the gen the younger generation needs to understand that. And they need to um, develop that relationship with the land because if you don't, like the land is right there and it's so ready to take care of you, but we don't take care of it in return. But once you begin that relationship, it's so powerful. Um, I see our education, our culture. When you go into the school, to our Chief Tassali school, you're going to see our culture right there. You're going to see a teepee when you walk in. You're going to see um, programs that are developed on how to make medicine, how to survive out on the land. Um, you're going to see the, the history of residential school and what it did to our people and how today we are still sta standing, how today we are still strong. So all that, that's what we're, we're going to see in 10 years.